Hi there, so I'm going to be talking about event modifiers, and let me show you what those are. So let's say you got a button, and you've got a regular event here on click, um, and then you've got some function that runs when you click. So maybe in this case, uh, message plus equals button, okay? And let me add uh, button, okay. So you click the button, and it adds button to this message here. Okay, so let's just a normal um, event there. So an, uh, one of the modifiers that you can do is once, and in order to use a modifier, you just put this bar here, and once, what that will do is only run it once. So I try to click it, and I keep clicking it, but it only allows it to be run once. So it removes, it removes this event handler after it's been called once. Uh, another thing you can do is prevent default, and this will be like the regular E dot prevent default right here it doesn't matter because the default isn't anything but for example let's say we had a form and usually the default is going to be when I click the button the form will be submitted um, but I don't want the form to be submitted so I'm gonna have prevent default so the form is not being submitted let's say I have like action equals one little cool thing you can do is slash REPL um, if I didn't have prevent default, then it's going to actually submit this form. And you'll see that it uh, brings up the REPL. And if you wanted, you could just keep on, you could do that again, you come to the output. Oh, and I've got another REPL inside of REPL inside of REPL. Um, anyway, but I'm going to refresh the page. Come back to this. Uh, so that would be prevent default. Prevent defaults. So we don't want that. Um, the third one that I'm going to show you is, let's say, for example, the form had a click event, and the um, the action was to do the same thing, message plus equal, it's going to say form though, oops, form, okay, um, and then I want to, so I'm going to prevent default so it doesn't get submitted, but, so, for example, if I'm doing this, it's going to do button and form, because when I click on button, I'm also clicking on the form. Um, but let's say I only want button to get the click event, then I would do stop prop, let's see, can I spell this, propagation, yep, and then it's only going to fire the button one. Um, so there are two more passive, and I forget what the fifth one is, but you can look them up in the um, API, and to me they didn't seem extremely, I don't know if I, yeah, passive and capture, so you can look those up if you want to use those, but... Um, Yep, that is modifiers, event modifiers.